Good morning. I'm Mr. Dwight Gabber. I'm a field minister. Everywhere I go is the church. I represent God. I gave my life to Christ 30 years ago, November 3, 1983. Been a Christian for a long time. Christian, Church of Christ. Proudly said. We're here this morning and I want to ask you a question. I'm going to be coming at you in different segments, sometimes on Wednesday, most of the time on Sunday morning to give you a short devotional, hoping that you can get some encouragement, and we just do this thing together here. I want to let you know uh, some of the steps of salvation to take, you know, that's essential to crossing over into the doorway to migrate from sinner to uh, Christian. All right. Now, ask yourself this morning. Where is my soul going to spend eternity? That should be something that worries you. You know, we're so busy going through life, working, doing this, doing that. We haven't taken no time to think about where our soul is going. People, we can't live our life any type of way. And expect to reach set, uh, heaven in the end. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. There's so much work that, ne that needs to be done. And God's probably being more ignored today. More than ever, the earth is po overpopulated, six, seven, eight billion people, you know, and a lot of people overseas, all the idolatry, anything that you're doing more than you do, that you are, you know, certainly serving God, you're provoking the jealousy. Now, if you're worried this morning, we're going to give you five steps that's essential to salvation. Stay with me now, because we're going to run through this thing. First of all, your first step is hearing. Okay, Romans 10, 17, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, what is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen, Hebrews 11. Okay, it's a very difficult thing to do, but you can use common sense. Everything has to come from somewhere. I mean, it's just a logical, and it's practical. Something came from somewhere, a higher power, a big bang, all that was God. A big bang, is, you know, God, he sat back and did his little thing, seven, six days, and he rested on the seventh day. He did a little something every day, him and his son, that us may. Christ was there with him at the beginning. So that's your faith. Your next step is believing. We're going to go to that famous passage, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believed to him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Now, when you hear, you need to believe the word of God. Your mind, just like your heart, needs to be pricked. Your conscience, when you hear something that's logical, you know, God gave you a conscience. I suggest you use it. All right, now, uh, um, um. Now, you don't believe everything because you want to study to show you some improvements. And there's a whole lot of false teachers out there. Remember that, Church of Christ is the way. All right, we go to hearing and believing. Now, there's repent. Uh, let's see, I like to use that passage, Luke 13, 3. Unless ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. Repentance is a renewing of the mind. Turn away from sin without regret. Yeah. Drop those old things that you used to do that's wrong, that is provoking God to jealousy and anger, and he's chastening you, Holy Ghost woman, and upgrade and migrate those things and get a renewing of the mind. People, time is winding up. Satan knows his time is just about ready, and this earth is going to be burnt up. you got a choice whether you're going up or down. I suggest you start thinking about that soul. I'm concerned about mine and yours. Always going to be here for you anytime you need it. All right, move right along. We're going to run over here to confessing. I like to use Matthew 10, 32, 33. Whosoever shall confess me before men, I will confess him before my father. But whosoever shall deny me before men, I will deny him before my father. People, we can't be ashamed. You know, I used to have this little shy part of me. I've never been ashamed of Christ. I've always been just kind of shy. But you know, he broke me out there last year. I sent him a prayer. I need to be bold in my speech because my ministry is just starting. This is my first ministry because we sent that to the world. Okay? 
We're hearing, we're believing, we're repenting, and we're confessing. Confession is made into salvation. Now here's the real political one. Baptism. Oh, ain't no power in the water. It's, it's an act of obedience that symbolizes the death and resurrection of Christ. He went down, and the old Christ, the old man, was left in the grave. He was written in newness of life. Therefore, you need to go up under the water, cover up, dip, plunge, not sprinkle. Keep sprinkling until you cover up. Find the nearest river bank. Get in the tub if, you, if you're small enough. Find the nearest uh, river bank, anything. Cover up, all right? Baptism, Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized. And con a conjunction. Everyone, that's all of us, everybody up under heaven, in the name of or by the authority of Jesus Christ. And the, for the remission of sins, be doing that for remission of sins, or for the forgiveness of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. People, the Holy Ghost is a gift. The Holy Spirit is a gift to give you. You shadow the Spirit. Now the Lord lives in you. Your body is the temple. We're hearing. We're believing. We're repenting. We're confessing. And we're baptizing. Now this is step number six. And a lot of people don't preach as well. You need to live faithfully. If you don't live faithfully, just because you crawled in from migrate from sinner, from sinner to saint, and then you slide back in your old ways, you can still go to the pit. You can make or break yourself. This is your gray area. This is your time right now. I suggest you use the time of the mercy. Because in the spirit world, time is not done, doesn't exist. The Lord only gave us time here on earth so we wouldn't be running around like a little cockroach when the light come on. You know how the roads run around trying to find some night, that big light come on. We, he gave us time to give us directing. So, yeah, we're the stupid ones here. He's the Almighty and all powerful and all merciful. He's giving you time now. So Satan, Satan is sitting, okay, Satan is sitting down here, and God is sitting up here. You're going somewhere. Now, uh, get yourself to the nearest church of Christ. Talk to the elders, the deacons, the ministers, and the Christian brothers and sisters that can sit down and enrich you in the Word. Church of Christ, Church of Christ. See you next week. Amen.